Are silver cables better than copper cables? That's the question we're going to be answering in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Della Sala with Audioholics, and today we're going to be talking about cable metallurgy. So you see a lot of these audiophile cables are silver, silver cables. They claim silver is a better conductor. Silver sounds better. Silver will set you free. So I want to tell you guys that yes, it is true. Silver is basically the best conductor there is, but it's not much better of a conductor than copper. In fact, if you look at any charts online of published data between different types of metals, silver is about five to 7% of a better conductor than copper. So it's very little bit about better conductivity, but the cost of pure silver is about 90% more than pure copper. So just to get a little less resistance, you're paying 90% more. And you could just make that up easily by getting more copper, only 5% or 7% more copper. So when you're looking at a speaker cable, let's say 12 gauge of copper, by getting silver that's 14 gauge, you're still at a disadvantage. You still have lower resistivity than in the copper cable that's 12 gauge. And I looked online and I looked at some of these silver cables. Most of the audiophile cables that are silver are 20 gauge silver. That's 10 times the resistance of 10 gauge copper. It is not worth it. The only silver cables that I've seen that are low gauge or low resistance are copper or silver plated copper. So basically you're dealing with an alloy at, at that point. It's not a pure silver. It's a mixture of copper and silver. It's, in my opinion, it's kind of a scam. I mean, you're getting a little bit silver on it, but that's about it. And it's not worth that added increase. So people may ask, what about copper clad aluminum? I really don't like that as a cable for speakers. Um, it doesn't save you a whole lot of money and there's more resistance in that. What copper clad aluminum is, is it's basically solid. Usually it's solid aluminum and then they plate it with copper. And aluminum is not of good of, as good of a conductor as copper is. So if you buy 14 gauge copper clad aluminum speaker wire, you're getting about 16 gauge resistance if you would have bought pure copper. So since, since speaker cable is so cheap these days, it's much better to get the oxygen free or pure copper cables. Don't mess with that copper clad aluminum. I especially don't like copper clad aluminum if it has a solid uh, center conductor because the solid, what I, what I found in my experience is when you're dealing with low gauge solid cable, it has more skin resistance than a stranded cable. As I talked to you guys before, stranded cable versus solid cable of the same gauge, the stranded cable will show less AC resistance just because the spacing between the actual strands has lits like behavior. So I don't want to go crazy into the technical details of this other than telling you that a high strand count, a high strand count copper cable is really the best choice for you. Now, what about gold? Gold is actually not that great of a conductor either. Copper is still a better conductor, but the reason why we do gold plated connectors is that gold doesn't oxidize. So over time, those connectors will just stay pure gold or it's gold plated. It just keeps it from oxidizing. It's not a huge deal. I like the gold plated connectors because they look nice. Um, it's not giving you any audiophile properties. It's just helping you to keep oxidation off of the copper or off of the metal that it's being um, fabricated with. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys about. I'm curious, what kind of speaker cables are you using? Are you using copper? Are you using platinum? Are you using unobtainium? Tell us down below, give us a comment. Are, are, the, are the salesmen at these hi-fi shops trying to sell you on silver? Now you know the truth about silver. You don't need silver cables, it's a gimmick. And I just wanna hear what you guys have experienced down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you like the video. Don't forget about our Patreon at patreon.com slash audioholics. We have awesome, unique content there that you don't get to see on this channel until you become a patron. We're gonna be doing contests over there. We got a lot of cool things happening to become a patron at our Patreon channel. All right, guys, that's it for today. So until next time, keep listening. Hey folks, I'm Gene Della Sala with Audioholics. Today I want to talk to you about cable metallology. Did I say that right? Metallurgy. Sorry, let's take that again.